So my name is Drew Tangway. I go to uh, Seven Sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary Parish in Middletown. Family moved there about uh, five years ago. Um, I entered seminary uh, seven years ago now. I go to St. Charles Borromeo in Philadelphia, where I'm in third theology, which means, God willing, I'll be ordained a deacon in May, and then I'll be ordained a priest next year. When I was about 14, I started like, daydreaming about what it would be like to be a priest, uh, to say mass, to preach. Um, so I was right around confirmation, and I pushed that away a little bit. I uh, wasn't sure, and I, I was pretty sure I wanted to get married, have kids, have a family, all that, <laughs> all the normal stuff. Um, over the years, it kind of, God kept on tapping me on the shoulder and like trying to redirect me where he wanted me. And I kept like more and more kind of pushing away and trying to be like, okay, no, like I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, but eventually, um, I one, one of the things that really helped me was I went to Quo Vada States and seeing the seminarians were so normal uh, and just being able to talk to them, um, I realized, okay, like maybe this is, like this isn't completely crazy. <laughs> um, so then I, I started being more willing to talk to God about it and to think about it. And so by the time I was, um, the summer going into my junior year of high school, I kind of made a deal with him that I would, I would apply to seminary and I'd give it a shot. And then um, if we didn't like it, then we, then we could split up, <laughs> call it there. Um, but then by the time I was a senior in high school, I was, really excited to get into seminary, and then every year since then, I've just grown more and more certain. Life in seminary, it's, um, it's very different from any other school, especially grew up, grew up going to public school. And so seminary, it has a very intentional focus, not just toward education, but toward formation, is, is what we call it. One of the main things that the Pentecost Collection does is it helps with our tuition at the seminary. Um, it might be an unusual school, but it is still school. <laughs> and so things still cost money, uh, from food to heating to um, paying our professors. The diocese has, uh, through the Pentecost Collection, been able to help me enormously to subsidize that, uh, which is a great help for me. Uh, and I know my fellow seminarians as well, uh, we're not allowed to have jobs while we're in seminary uh, because we want to focus all of our time and effort into prayer and formation. And so we don't really have the means to, to pay for ourselves to get through uh, college seminary or, or then graduate school. And the diocese, um, because of the generosity of the people, is able to subsidize that or even cover it sometimes. So our entire theology time is completely covered by uh, the Diocese of Harrisburg through the Pentecost Collection. The time and the effort and the prayer and the money that people give so that I can be a priest is absolutely humbling. And it's incredible to see the potential that they see in me. And it really makes me uh, do everything that I can to live up to that. And so, um, and so I, I never want to miss class in the morning, like even though I have to get up early in the morning to go to mass and get to class, I never think about missing out on those things because that's what the people of God are paying for me to be able to do and that's what they need from me. Um, and so even when, even when I am getting restless from sitting in a classroom for three hours <laughs> and just feeling like I, I really just wanna get out there and do something, I remind myself that, that this is what I'm supposed to do right now and this is what the people need from me right now, um, that I need to invest, uh, I need to match their investment uh, with my own uh, in order to, to get everything we can out of this. <laughs> Thank you so much to the people of God, all the, all the mothers and fathers and children and grandparents and grandchildren and everyone in between. Uh, thank you not only for your support, not only for your prayers and for your donations, but just for being you. Um, that your example is really what leads me to want to serve. You are the people that I'm, I'm looking forward to devoting my life to and sacrificing everything for. So thank you so much for everything that you do, everything that you are. Um, and please continue to pray for me and my brothers. Um, and we will, we will continue to pray for you and look forward to serving you.